This bout is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring first from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing 180 pounds, Lee Johnson. He's got the uh, very famous QT Marshall right there in his corner. He most certainly does. Big shotty Lee Johnson, the newest member of the Nightmare family. He will have his work cut out for him here tonight. Yeah, Lee Johnson, very talented, as is the QT Marshall. Marshall, I should say. And his opponent from the keep, weighing 193 pounds, Stu Grayson. Stu Grayson, a rare singles appearance here. And we will see Evil Uno in singles action tomorrow night on AEW Dynamite at 10 p.m. or immediately following the NBA action on TNT. He will be taking on Dustin Rhodes. Cole Cabana, by the way, if you notice, Cole Cabana has a new uh, jacket on, a gift, a holiday gift from the Dark Order. On BT, it was given to him, spray painted the Dark Order logo on it. See what it says, boom. And on the back, it's like some smudge on it. It's like uh, boom it says also. boom also, yeah. That's great. It's great for him while he's driving a minivan to soccer practice. He's a soccer dad or uh, a coach or a substitute teacher. He's got a little minivan that's oh. like kind of a Carolina blue. I digress. Right now, Lee Johnson's getting lit up here by Stu. Boom. Lee Johnson in the uh, the Carolina blue trunks. Well, it's well, one of the turquoise, yeah, but yeah. what do I know hey. about the Pantone color sheet? But I digress on that. You want to? You want to? You want to go? We'll go. Hey. I know. Come on, bro. I know, bro. I know. You, you know, coded or uncoded? I know uncoded. But okay. there we go. I know what's coded is Lee Johnson strikes on Stu Grace in the corner. Irish whip into the ropes. Leapfrog goes over the top. It does Lee Johnson drop kick, but he telegraphed it. Grayson able to hold on. Yes, yeah, smart by the veteran Stu Grayson. He realized that. Oh, nice. Running elbow. Lee Johnson, of course, a great prospect. Uh, QT Marshall, Dustin Rhodes both see a lot in Lee Johnson. He's still searching for his first victory inside an AEW ring. Well, the biggest problem that Lee Johnson did was get involved with the Nightmare family, Cody Rhodes. Uh, he's uh, Cody Rhodes is kind of leading a lot of these young athletes the wrong way, and uh, that's a problem. And Lee Johnson is tremendously talented. I think that uh, Cody's sketchy, and QT's a, a tad sketchy also. That's just me. Lee Johnson. Oh! Lee Johnson was going to try to come over the top with, I think, a senton, but Grayson got the boot up, and oh! oh, oh. Driving his shoulder into the midsection, and, and look at that sneer. Yeah, he gave that look to QT Marshall, like, you better be careful. Well, QT's smart. He's not going to get involved right there in front of the referee, but look at that athleticism right there by Stu Grayson. Oh, great reversal there inside the ring by Lee Johnson. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Went, went for the scoop, but Grayson able to float over the top. Ooh, blistering right hand. Watch out, watch and out. Oh, no. You're a Nagi. He's strong right there. Wow. And did you see the recoil, how Lee Johnson bounced off the canvas cover here? Well, exactly. Good observation. Look at the tenacity by Stu Grayson forcing the younger athlete, Lee, to kick out. And Stu Grayson is one of those guys that loves to, to exchange strikes, Taz. I mean, those guys are they are a different breed. They, they like to take, yeah. take three to deliver one, almost. Absolutely. You know Stu Grayson and Evil Uno a lot longer than me, and they've always been like that, right or wrong. Always just looking for a fight. They love to just brawl, right or wrong. You are, you're most certainly right. I, I remember uh, Evil Uno and I had a singles match in 2005, and I came out of the gates hot, and he fired back on me mm. like I, I could not believe. And so, yeah, Dark Order, has they have been a force in professional wrestling for over 15 years now. Cross-facing Lee Johnson right in the face. There are a couple of cross-faces. That'll definitely, you know, jaw, uh, jack your jaw, I should say. A lot of trash talking by, by Grayson. Grayson trying to, oh! I think he was trying to trying to draw Lee, Lee Johnson into a fist fight, and he just dropped him with a single shot. Yeah, I think you're exactly right. He was trying to, but he's banged up right now. He's trying to trying to get his sea legs under him. He can't get him get to a vertical base right now. He's having a hard time, especially with someone stepping on your face. Come on, Lee, you're better than this. Bring it to me. Come on, Lee, fight me. Fight me. Well, that's to your point. He wants that. He wants to get. Lee into a fist fight with him, and he's in no position right now to do that, I don't think, anyway. Yeah, Stu Grace has got that moniker, born and bred uh -oh. for combat. Uh -oh. oh! Johnson caught, caught Grayson on the shoulder. 
Yeah, very good job, good athletic move by Lee. Nice, another back elbow like we saw earlier. Watch out. Lee Johnson leaps over Grayson, but Johnson comes back, clothesline, second one. And you hear QT giving direction, saying stay on him. He knows he's got Stu right now rocking a little bit. Grayson though puts on the brakes, gets the boot up. Oh, nice duck. Swinging a miss, drop kick there. Lee Johnson, big shotty with the big shot. The big shot, he caught Stu Grayson right in the chest with that drop kick. Sometimes that's better than hitting someone in the face. Knock the wind out of him. As we mentioned, the Nightmare Family's Dustin Rhodes will go one-on-one -on -one with Dark Order's Evil Uno tomorrow night on Dynamite, 10 p.m., or immediately following the presentation of the oh. NBA on TNT. Blue Thunder Bomb, one, two, two, no, just a two count. Blue Thunder Bomb not wearing Carolina blue tights. Blue Thunder Bomb by Lee Johnson, of course, a shout out and homage to one of his favorites, El Generico. Oh. And Lee Johnson. Uno out of here giving direction to Stu Grayson. Coming off the back. He was trying for, for one of his, uh, his, oh, he's got a half, his yeah. favorite finishing techniques, but full Nelson, actually. I thought he had a half and half. But Lee Johnson shooting in some, some back elbows. Trying to roll through, does roll through, but Grayson up to his feet now. Oh, oh, oh dragon suplex. And Grayson, the back flipping kick, catching Lee Johnson on the crown of his head. Yeah, that dragon throw, that dragon suplex, and Lee landed on his face. That was nasty. Evil Uno, springboard, 450, splash, covers one, two, whoa! Wow. Big toughness right there by Lee Johnson for sure, but God, man, I, I, Stu Grayson just is. And, and Grayson is he's, Grayson's he's pleased. impressed. He's yeah. impressed, yeah. Happy with the tenacity of Lee Johnson. Uh oh. This. He's pulling down the knee pad. That This could spell the end of the evening for a big shotty. No. Got caught. He's able to avoid it. Rolls him up on two. Just a two count there. Well, he's exposed that kneecap. He wanted to drive his knee on a knee strike, but no oh, backslide here. Look at this. Backslide. High stack by Johnson. He was up on the on the top of his head. Oh, swinging a miss by Johnson. Nice kip up. Oh, oh he missed. He, oh, oh. He, he thought Lee was there still. He's gone. Maybe going for power bomb here. Picks him up. He's carrying Grayson. Oh, buckle the, bomb. Jeez. Power bomb into that top turnbuckle. Lee Johnson has Stu Grayson right where he wants him, Taz. Yeah, he sure does. And this, you know, this kid Lee Johnson can definitely operate. I shouldn't call him a kid. This young athlete can operate from the top rope. Oh! What the hell? Wow! Cancun tornado by Lee Johnson covers two. Oh, Grayson! Great match sense by Stu Grayson to realize where he was. Tremendous ring awareness by Grayson as Evil Uno drawing his his tag team partner out of the ring to to collect himself. Man, Lee Johnson, I think... I haven't seen three. that move in years. Yeah. I don't remember the last time I saw it. It's tremendous. Watch out! Oh, no! oh, on the sternum, right on that steel guardrail. You got him now, Stu. Get him in the ring, man. Get, get rolling now. You got him. Grayson hoists up Lee Johnson on the outside. He's staring QT Marshall right whoa, in the whoa, eye. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. God, that was ugly. Just throws Johnson ribs first at that ring post. How mean is Stu Grayson? That's what you want, that kill or be killed attitude. Watch this, watch Lee Johnson's body. His ribs right on the side. Oh, what oh, a knee strike. Inside the ring, the bicycle knee strike. I think Lee's done here. Yeah, Grayson can end this anytime he wants. And it looks like this could be the end of the night for Lee Johnson. Grayson with the oh. knife fall. Oh, and those injured ribs. One, two, three. The winner of this match, Stu Grayson. Well, Stu Grayson, probably one of the most underrated wrestlers in the world. And if you know enough about this guy's ability or you didn't just realize what he did, it's not an overstatement by me, I promise you that. Grayson with that that nightfall, that that backbreaker, rip breaker, whatever it was, he softened Lee Johnson up with the ring post, and it was all academic from there. Hell of a match though. Lee Johnson has nothing to be ashamed. I know he get a win. I know he did not get a win. I should say, but it was a hell of an outing by Johnson. 
Hell of an outing by Stu Grayson. Oh, Grayson may not be done with that showing respect. And wow, QT's not. QT, I'm, I think, a little bit confused as we are about his nightmare family. I mean, it's Bulldog QT Marshall.